Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I hope it's all going well for you. I, uh, a pleasure to, um, to moderate this press conference because it's actually an amazing, um, a great story, um, which is why I'm not going to try and tell it because it's not my story. Obviously, it's Gawar's. Rather, I think, than, than asking Gawar to give his whole life story, I think better to take questions and answers. So let's start with the gentleman down here on the left. Gore, this question is for you. What was it that inspired you or pushed you to keep fighting in order to get here? Can you tell us, please, uh, when you actually arrived in America? Well, hello, Lee Wellings of Al Jazeera. When did you last see your family, and will they have the chance to watch you compete? Um, when you were in the refugee camp, were you able to follow the Olympics at all? Have you got any plans to go back to South Sudan in the near future? Um, I wonder if you could tell us how your relationship with run running has changed since your childhood and now that you're here in the Olympics running as a marathon runner. And was there ever a time where uh, running was a way of you to, uh, to, to focus on something else and escape from the past? It's the final day of the London Olympics and it begins with the men's marathon through the streets of central London. 105 men representing 67 countries about to take their 26.2 mile journey. So the runners set on their way in addition to the 67 nations represented by the 105 men. There is one runner running under the International Olympic Committee flag, Gore Marial. He's from South Sudan, a refugee. Uh, he's had an unbelievable story. South Sudan as a, as, a, as a region has been in, at war um, for over 50 years. It centers around um, the consequences of colonialism and the abrupt exit of the British in the 1950s following World War II. And, and this was really what started South Sudan off on the path to conflict. The fact that we had two countries with very different notions of what it was to be uh, themselves. Southern Sudanese, very African uh, and very traditional. Uh, and the Northern Sudanese, an Arab-centric culture. An Islamic uh, culture. There was a clash of, of, of civilizations, so to speak. Ethnic conflict and animosity, uh, political uh, manipulation, and uh, a scramble for, for, for resources. about your village? Ah, oh, that's a good question. It's a beautiful land. People care to each other. But unfortunately, I was born into the war life. As a child, it's all about war, war, war. They have built their children and they bond down there, the house. So you have to run to the bushes in order to hide. That's the only way you can save your, your life. 